How you doing everybody? You know I have a tendency in my videos, in particular my reviews about saying I have something special. Well I really do have something special. Check this out. Today we're going to review night vision equipment. And not just any night vision equipment, in particular the Yukon YK24022WP Gen 1 Monocular. This is a piece of equipment I picked up um, about like 2011. Yeah, it was actually this time of the year, December 2011, maybe November 2011 is when I picked this up. So I've had this for half a decade. And it's been working well for me. So since um, this is the holidays, and since I am going to be, I'm actually selling this off. I'm going to be selling this off. But before I sell it off, I thought, you know what, let's make a review of it. You might find it entertaining. And who knows, this might inspire you as a gift item you want to give somebody. Although I will confess, it's not for everybody. Let's go over some basics. Now I told you it was a Gen 1 night vision. What that means is, literally, it's like first generation. It is, if you were to compare it to military, like mil spec or whatever, it will not compete in terms of magnification, clarity, stuff like that. But... For someone who's on a budget, for someone who wants some night vision equipment for maybe stargazing, which this does work very well, you're on a farm and you got coyotes or like here in Korea, wild boar and like deer that are eating your, uh, going through your farm at night, works really good for that. And you know, I've used this for camping. It is, it's really fun to sneak up on people because they, you can see them, but they can't see you. Really fun for that. So let's get into some specifics. Okay. So now, going by the spec, let's look at the information here on the box. Granted, this is half a decade old, so take it for what it's worth. You got three times magnification, and you got what's called a 42 objective lens. It's multitasking, enhanced optics. It's compact. It's lightweight. It's rubber armored, which is very true. Built-in tripod mount and carrying case included. Okay, so your tripod mount is right here. The carrying case is right here. Your carrying case will include this like cloth to clean it. It will include, of course, the owner's manual. And you also kind of like get some care instructions here in different languages. This one tells you about, see, generation one, image, night vision, image and targeting, target sheet. Let's zoom up there for you. So yeah, it's going to come with stuff like that, along with warranty information. Now what's kind of nice is, and also you got to, and this is for those who don't understand anything about night vision. You never, ever want to point this at like a sun, the sun or a bright light. That could really damage it. So what you're going to find on night vision equipment, whether it be military or even this, you'll often see these like rubber caps, like this one here. And you see that little hole there? That little hole at the end is so that you can look through this and verify that it works like see how the green is kicking on here so I can look through here I can look at this through that tiny little hole which allows the sensor to receive light but not enough light to damage it in case you do something dumb like I don't know look at a bright fire or a, a, the sun or something like that so it's a safety mechanism to keep your device from getting ruined um, this thing is proudly made in Russia See. Proudly made in Russia. You know, that's real funny, right? You know, we're so used to seeing stuff made in Asia. Who'd ever thunk that, you know, you'd see something made in Russia, especially electronics. But, you know, it is made in Russia, and it has worked well. Okay. This does use a CR123A battery, as you can see right here, for example. Uh, now, you obviously can't see it because it's inside the uh, night vision, but I have had the same CR123A battery for five years now, okay? I have not had to replace this battery. These are backups I bought just in case, but it's true. I don't use this every day, but you would think after five years you would need to replace these. After all, you can keep like some AAA batteries or AA batteries in your flashlight, and after a couple years you'd have to replace it. So to give credit where credit is due, the batteries work great for this, even though it's kind of specialized and a little more expensive and, you know, even more difficult to get. They do work well. This has a nice uh, rubber armored thing cover, as the box explains. 
And again, it gives you good grip. I have no problems with it. Works well. This lens cover right here has its own little, if you want to call it, uh, holder. You just see how you get this notch right here. Nipple, if you will. You can take the nipple and you just slide it right up there. Now the power of this, it's very simple. You have two buttons. You have this button, which gives you the green, which you saw here. Let me do that. See, green here, that gives you a green light that's on. Now, let me turn it off for safety's sake. Here is the IR light. The IR light, or infrared, it's going to really increase the clarity of what you're looking at. Like, if you're, say, looking for, you know, if you look into, say, some forest area, yeah, the green's okay. This is generation one, so it's literally okay. But when you kick on the IR, it really brightens things up, makes it much clearer. And I'll give you a demonstration of this later. Right now, this is just the tabletop portion of this review. However, let me warn you about something. Again, this is part of the, you know, the cheap price of this. When you kick on the IR, this thing right here, this is the actual IR light. It's a big red light, and everybody's going to see it. So when you're like stargazing, it's not an issue. If you're hunting, especially like I said, like use an example of like animals on your farm trying to, you know, maybe eat your crops and you want to shoot them or something, that could be an issue because if they see that, it'll alert them. Uh, you know, if you're playing paintball, if you're hunting people, obviously, as I know from my own little, you know, having fun with my buddies with this, they see this, obviously they know where you are. So just keep that in mind. All right. So uh, it's very easy to operate. Oh, yes, and I should mention, see right here, this is how you adjust it, okay? So the forward optical does not adjust. See how it doesn't turn or anything. So don't try to mess that up. This is how you would magnify it right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to set it up to give you a demonstration of how it works. I'm going to do it indoors, and then I'm going to set up for outdoors. Stand by. For the indoor demonstration, I'm inside my friend's apartment. What I'm going to do, I'm at the far end of the apartment. You can see the far end down there. That door is the restroom door, and it's got all the posters and stuff there. I am going to take this, and this is going to be a little clunky, so forgive me. I'm going to put this over the camera lens with the night vision on, and you will be able to see what it looks like through the lens. And then, I will kick on the IR light so you see what it really looks like, how bright it gets. And of course, this will have to be done at dark. It wouldn't really work well if it was doing with all the lights on. So, wait one moment. Okay, now I've placed the optical of the night vision equipment right over my camera. Okay, I'm looking through the camera's viewfinder and I'm starting to see details now. So hopefully you can see what that looks like down there. It needs to be mentioned, for those who are not familiar with night vision equipment, night vision equipment does not work completely in the dark. It has to have some ambient light. So in the case of this apartment, my friend, uh, we got some power on the TV, so you got like a little you know, power light on the TV. You might have some starlight coming in through the windows and stuff. And when you're, of course, when you're outdoors, this will naturally take care of itself, but I just want to point this out for those who uh, think that you can just have total blackness like in a completely dark sealed room and you're going to be able to go to see. Now you have to have some light. Okay, so let's go ahead, turn this off, and then let's set it up for the outdoor demonstration. Okay, so I've repositioned myself. I'm at my local park, my local favorite park, which is down from the apartment. Now, I mentioned this thing is good for looking across, say, your farm or your fields to spot wildlife, right? Well, incidentally, I have some farmland just right out there, which is hard to see with uh, being dark out here. And just to give you a sense of where I am, see over there? That is the newest apartment complex built right over there called Brownstone. Only about $300,000 for one apartment. And, of course, the local construction company is going to sell it to all the Americans moving in. Because Uncle Sam can afford to pay the bill for his soldiers. And everybody else. Over here, at least that's what the Koreans think. 
over here we got like some apartments and stuff like that over there which I hope you can see my, seeing my fingers kind of hard in the night time here on my black glove especially but over there's some apartments and stuff like that up here we have the moon it is cloudy tonight so it's gonna be difficult to see the stars but if I set this up correctly this will precisely show you why having night vision equipment comes in real handy for stargazing so first let's look at the field okay so I'm back over the field now forgive me this is gonna be a little crude it's gonna be a little hard to set up but I'm gonna take my monocular here and put it right over the camera okay now this is just the standard IR I'm sorry the standard night vision with no enhancement now I'm going to kick on the IR light which you can see right there and you should be able to see how much brighter everything is especially when I bring it up to the camera uh, let's see if I can make some adjustments here if I if this image gets blurry I'm sorry I'm using my camera's viewfinder to make these adjustments so it's really hard for me to get to dial this in but I hope it still gives you an idea of what this can do okay now you see I've refocused this camera on some trees straight ahead of me so you should be able to see the outline of the trees and it should look fairly crisp now I'm going to press the uh, IR light Let's see how that really lights that up okay good now I'm going to reposition this again and this time we're going to do stargazing this is a cloudy day or at least partly cloudy night like I said before so this should show you a really good example of why you want to use these. Stand by. Yeah, I've refocused this camera on some trees straight ahead of me. So you should be able to see the outline of the trees and it should look fairly crisp. Now I'm going to press the uh, IR light. Let's see how that really lights that up. Okay, good. Now I'm going to reposition this again and this time we're going to do stargazing. This is a cloudy day, or at least partly cloudy night, like I said before. So this should show you a really good example of why you want to use these. Stand by. Okay, now the camera's repositioned. You are, should be looking at the sky. And hopefully, even though it's partially cloudy, you should be able to see a few stars. If you cannot, I apologize. But we're going to alleviate that problem, hopefully. So now, I'm going to take, again, the monocular with the green light on I'm going to put it up here so you can get a sense of how well this will show you the stars keep in mind when you look at the stars through this they're going to look a little blurry you might even say it looks like a trail coming off that star that's okay because what you're trying to do is identify its location not get a precise um, like a super crisp image this thing cannot do this this is only three times magnification Okay, so now let's change it to IR. Now it should look really bright here in a second. Let me get that. Okay, there we go. I had to make an adjustment. It's probably going to look really bright. To be honest with you, when looking at the night sky, I've never really had to use the IR light to get a good picture of the night sky or the stars. This is more for review purposes. But uh, let me see if I can move this around a little bit to give you some perspective. Okay, so I'm lowering it towards the horizon. So now you can probably see across the field. Might look a little blurry because I have it unfocused, but nonetheless you can see there. And so I tilt it back up to the sky. I see a streak of cloud going. Uh, there's a cloud going across. Hopefully you can see that. And back up at the night sky we go into some stars. There we go. Now I got this in focus here. You can see a star right there. You're going to see a little light in the upper right hand corner, upper center, even. And boom. Now let's remove this all together and see can you see those stars without the monocular? <laughs> One more time. Now let's kick on the IR. There we go. 
Hey, sorry again. I know it's a little crude. It might not be looking pretty right now, but it's hard to set up this monocular with this camera lens, especially when I have no light myself. I got to keep it dark. Okay. Spin this around a little bit. There you go. Give you See right in the center of that, you got a star right there. Bam. Put this back down. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and reposition back into the uh, apartment, and then we'll talk about, you know, pros, cons, and my final thoughts and all this. Okay, so obviously we're back indoors. Let me give you my final thoughts and suggestions and, you know, my comments. Okay, first, if you're looking for something affordable that's in night vision, this, is pro this might just be for you. Back in the day, I paid like about $250 on Amazon for this. Obviously, $250 is not, like, cheap, but for what you get, it's pretty good, in my opinion. And probably, honestly, you will get this cheaper now. So just go online and do your searching. Now, um, to give you some my uh, suggestions, if you will. Now, you see this case that comes with it? I mean, it'll store it. It's got a belt loop here, but I personally don't like it. Let me give you a better idea. What you really want to do, you want to go out... Spend a little money on some sort of tactical pouch that's well made that will hold this. So here's an easy end of, you know, case in point. You can go online to eBay or someplace and get one of these USGI canteen pouches. Or your local heart, you know, like a surplus store. You can get them cheap for like five bucks, maybe even ten dollars. Now, along with that, grab yourself online for like literally one dollar I think I paid for this maybe two because it came with a pack of two this PVS 14 pouch okay again it's military surplus and what this simply does something like this inserts in here there see now you got that zoom it out so you can see better you take it in here Bucklet. Voila. So now you've got yourself a very competent, cheap pouch. Now you see where these uh, iodine bottle pouches, like pills and bottles, are supposed to go? For, you know, because this is designed for a canteen. What I do with mine, I put spare batteries in here. You could put that lens cover I showed you about in another pocket. This is actually a very affordable cheap upgrades that um, that or any other similar monocular for that matter okay well you know hey the holidays are here uh, I wanted to get this video out before uh, it, you know while I still can please uh, you know tell me what you think about it you know it's not your everyday gift it's not your everyday item it's not for everybody but hunting uh, paintball I guess you know stargazing Farming, you know, checking those animals, see what's going on in your land, your property, whatever. It's not a bad option. So, please like, share, subscribe. I would love to hear your comments on this, and thank you for watching this video. Have a great one. Out.